This is the most important video that I'll probably ever make. And I don't mean that lightly either, because today I'm gonna explain to you how I reprogram myself. And hopefully you can use the same thing that I did to reprogram yourself, because we are all programmed a certain way. Now, it's just a matter of admitting it and understanding how to change it. So just for your perspective, when I was 15, I lost everything. It was the worst time of my life. I felt depressed, I hated life. A lot of my relationships fell out between like my dad, my brothers, friends, teammates, etc. And in that moment, I didn't think I was ever going to be happy again are balanced, I feel good about myself. And it was a really tough pill to swallow. It took a long time. I'm still working on it today. However, I'm in such better place now because, well, that's that was 11 years ago. And I did it alone for three years. Until I was 18, I never really opened up about anything to anybody because I learned it was me versus my thoughts. And at 15, when everything just happened, my thoughts spiraled out of control. I think it took me about six, to eight months before I started to really realize the power of my thoughts. And then that's when I was like, okay, maybe there's something here. And I just started working on more positive thoughts. I started thinking about how I was going to come back from what just happened. I started to reflect on why I got there and why I made those decisions. And it all came back to, you know, just trying to be validated by other people. And then as time went on, I started to realize more that our mind space can only be controlled by one thought. You can't have a positive and a negative thought in the same mind. Our mind is one pool and you either drag a positive or you drag a negative. So when everything was hitting the fan over here, it was just pulling negative, pulling negative, pulling negative. And once you pull so many negatives, it becomes a habit. It's like waking up every day at six in the morning. If you wake up every day at six in the morning and one day you wake up at 10, your mind is like, what is going on here? This is not routine. And that's the same thing with your thoughts. So as I was just pulling negative after negative after negative after negative, I was like, hold on, let's try pulling a positive thought and seeing it from a different perspective and being grateful that I was even alive. The more that I pulled from the positive pool, the less I pulled from here. So now my brain was saying, okay, we are beginning to think more positive. And it was more like negative thought would come in and I'd be like, no, we have to go here. And then from here, I would pull, 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 pull. So now my brain is thinking, we're so used to pulling from negative, but when a negative comes in, I'm consciously saying, no, you're not allowed in, I'm going here. I'm gonna train my brain to only think positive. I know it's a far stretch to say, you just have to train your thought to think positive because it's not always positive, right? But what you're trying to do is win the game. You're never gonna get 100%. But if you can get 60, 40 positive or 70, 30 positive or 51, 49 positive, you're going in the right direction. So that was how I changed my perspective on seeing positive from negative. And it took me four years, three, four years of doing it every single day. You gotta remember, I was 15 at this point. So from zero to 15, I was programmed a certain way. It took me three years to undo the 15 years. Now I'm still in the works of reprogram myself and other things as well. Like being happy for myself for what I've accomplished and not shaming myself forward. And what I'm doing to better myself there is when I do something that I'm actually proud of and it's like, oh, you should have done another one. I have to stop that thought and not to come here and say, no, this is good. Good job. You did good. You can say good job and still be ambitious. It's just the healthy balance of saying like, good job, this is what we worked for. Yeah, we're not there yet, but good job, I'm proud of you, right? Instead of saying, oh, I should have just got one more because you don't wanna shame yourself forward. You want to nurture yourself forward. And then let's talk about like relationship wise. How did I reprogram myself to have good relationships? Because I grew up in a household that didn't have like the best relationships and it was due to communication and misunderstanding. And I realized that when, you know, everything hit the fan, I think it's important for men, especially, uh, and women too, to be vulnerable and to speak what's on your mind and say what you mean. And it's better to communicate than let things boil up. Because if you let things boil up, it builds resentment. The hardest thing to do in this is to, if you feel something in that moment, just say it. I know it could be scary and my girlfriend's not the biggest fan of this because I'm really honest and to the, straight to the point. But I think 
my theory when you move with i'm telling you the truth your energy is so different you're not lying you, there's nothing about you that screams fraud you know you may have some insecurities because everybody has insecurities but you're not lying to that person you're not hiding something from that person and it more comes from a respectful point of view and truthfully a power play because most people don't speak their minds so if you could just learn to rip the bandage off fast and say the uncomfortable thing in that moment instead of letting things boil up and then everything explode then you win and again this is going to be something where it's like you should have said something right when it happened and you have to stop in your head like a minute later like should i say something and then you have this battle in your head like yes no maybe so it doesn't matter if it happens one minute five minutes after just say it and if they're like well that was kind of random that took a little little while to say it and just be like you know what this is why because you have to program yourself to be completely honest with what's in front of you and i would say any type of programming really takes like three to five years to master but you have to be intentional with how you do it you can't just be like oh yeah i'm gonna get fit in three to five years and then work out once a week and eat out five times a week like that's not that's not intentional that's not disciplined that's not like watching every move you have to be very intentional with this and for anybody out there saying oh i'm not programmed a certain way i'm perfect i got this that is insecurity because we are all programmed a certain way we are programmed from our mothers our fathers our grandparents our brothers or cousins and uncles aunties school tv shows we are all programmed a certain way it's just a matter of are you programmed the way that you want to be programmed